Yeah, we're good to go. Cool. <clears throat> I affirm the meta-ethic is actualism. Decisions about allocation and responsibility must take into account characteristics of the individual that govern the conditions under which duties will be performed. The absolutism of morality is falsehood. Intentions are fractured. And individuals give it to anti-moral influences regularly as part of the human nature to avoid acting morally in the future. We should prevent ourselves from acting in the future. The ideal system of ethics fails because it doesn't take into account the actual character of the agent and what agents ought to do given how they actually behave. Assuming an ideal agent imposes moral cost on others because it falsely presumes our ability to make aggregated ethical choices. Thus, ethical decisions must flow from a realistic account of moral capacities. This evaluation comes before other ethical systems because it addresses our ability to engage in moral reasoning. Moral Systems of thought result from human cognition and thus an assessment of character and limitations of human cognition is a necessary side to train on all moral systems of thought. Answering the ethical question of whether an agent ought to take on responsibility then requires an agent to assess how they are likely to actually behave in the future, such that their adoption of responsibility will not result in them doing immoral acts. An agent with knowledge of action X is the only manner to prevent future immoral action. The agent's decision to not do X is immoral, thus the agent ought to do X if they prevent a future immoral action. The ethic is presentism. First, a theory of time must necessarily have two considerations A in the past, present, future, and B, an event comes before, after, and or at the same time is another event, but this three predicate system entails contradiction since the was future indicates that event that's in the future in the past was necessary to matter predicates of time at infinitum. So any structure of time intrinsically results in infinite regression. Thus, evaluations of actions generate contradictions if the distinctions were to be drawn between past, present, and future, and only presentism escapes this paradox. The present is the only measurable reality that determines if an action was taken. If it wasn't the present, the past fails to evaluate action because the past ceases to exist in the future isn't yet here, so it's indeterminate, and this precludes moral framework since no rational theory can accept the contradiction. So we're resolving around paradox of the absolute constraint on all theorizing. Second, all true statements must have concrete warrant it's true uh, concrete uh, warrant true rooted in time structure Simple truth is absolute, but time relatives are the only uh, true relative to that time. Only things that are true at the present are true absolutely. X is sitting is absolutely true. Only the X is currently sitting. Present tense propositions are made absolutely true. Only the concrete facts are presently realized. Thus, the disappearance of the past and the indeterminacy of the future can only be possible by evaluating the present. And this includes other all the moral frameworks because only moral frameworks that regulate human to human relationship to the present. Third, evidence from physics shows that the past is determined from the present. Even the, uh, even the past is merit that present comes first. Lanza. Scientists shot photons and showed that they could reactively change something into photons and the apparatus behave like the particles or waves. The experimenter could switch a beam splitter and with the observer decided to determine that the particle dates in the past. The experimenter closed chose its history until the present determined they could have even no past according to the physicist John Wheeler. The quantum principle shows that what the observer does defines the past. Thus, the past doesn't physically exist until the present happens. Thus, we can only evaluate the present includes all the frameworks that the ability to evaluate time dictates the structure of action as well as agents because the actions exist in different states. So all, all violations happen in the past. I contend that a negative valve is incoherent. A. It's impossible for a moral subject to reason to a universal conclusions about other human beings because that would require the reason from the perspective of humanity as a whole, which is impossible because it demands that we think is unthinkable God's eye perspective. Thus, universal rules about actions are senseless. B. Language can't grasp prohibitory judgment since it equivocates the general term morally prohibited with the specific situational reasons which why particular cases are morally prohibited. Since the general term equates the different situations, is fallacious, means that rules should fail. C. Even if objective norms exist, it's ultimately up to the ethical subject to determine what's, uh, whether to act on them. Only the subjective eye can make judgment about good or bad, so it's impossible to say an action is prohibited. This means that one cannot denote a practice of ba another is bad. A person can only change their mind. D. Our experience with another person, no matter how we know, well we know them, can't be complete. They still have a logical right to total evaluation of them because we, not cannot, because we cannot know from their perspective, and thus we cannot check certain certainty and predict how we evaluate a moral dilemma. Also, we cannot physically check the them. About 7 billion people think they concur with the prohibition. We can't check norms against the whole of impunity. Thus, the intersubjective prohibitions are possible. E. If morally, if morally can be fulfilled by showing rules like Provisions and humanity's incidental and unnecessary component of ethical calculus, making morally self forgetting and doesn't respect man's role and towards the subject of ethics. Uh, uh, F. Uh, F. If good will consists of the coincidence of the will and the moral law, this perfect subject would be an angel who is completely aligned with the law to conform with the law. The subject must alienate herself from itself instead of subject to being the hero of the, of the act and realizing her will. The subject must act to realize the law. This suppresses the free will and unique evil you know, to drive that makes the ethical subject in the first place, making prohibitions unethical and rules controlling. G. Any counter morality that asserts that things are objectively valuable independent of subjective humanization is regressive since it predicates one universal rule in the existence of another moral rule. Since every human uh, chain of reasoning must be finite according to our finite nature, such a reasoning process must determine in a rule which give no reason can be given, thus universal prohibitions are groundless. H, if only justifications for an action come, come from the future and past examples of action, but those do not exist that are indeterminable, thus we can have no justifications for a restriction. I, moral drives can be explained via evolution since human beings evolved to be altruistic since cooperation led to the benefit of the community. However, as per Occam's razor, this means that the simplest possible explanation where all that doesn't involve external moral truth is all prohibitions when they may beneficial are true. Second, moral prohibitions are logically sound since they commit the naturalistic fallacy and estimate what is, namely our natural activities, with what they ought to be. This means that the world and it can evolve. Next is the underview. 
Permissibility affirms one, the phrase ought not in the resolution means an affirmative definition and omission. Thus, the NACAS burdens with the obligation of the ACE to prove the debt to the obligation to be you affirm to both sides of the resolution are permissible because the NACAS is an action in the absence of omission. You always prefer an action as an agency to the least risk. Three, to affirm means to trust dedication to affirmation that's never part of your truth claim. Negation email, however, means to deny the truth, thus, to indicate you can never truth claim. Thus, if there's no offense, the truth can be confirmed. Four, similar to the intent to prove guilty, you assume after the NACAS met its burden of truth, thus, proving the possibility of truth, the institution affirms, then you can skip down to the fourth one. The act of a negative right, i.e., not restricting a speech while, uh, a speech while the NACAS has limited controls internally to NACAS and ethics because any other moral calculus we would give at least marginal preference to the apps Bronco. Subjects rated in harmful omissions and slash immoral than harmful commissions of reverse effective good outcomes are not found if a few subjects were even willing to accept greater harm in order to avoid action. Three implications A, our ability to compute uh, a morality under an entity's fat paradigm will always be influenced by our subjective conditions because there's no unbiased point of view from which we can draw. So, under utility, you refer to a firm to creepy out because a valid deposit to question our resolution insofar as we are psychologically disposed against restrictions that meet the judge to affirm or refer regardless of other arguments and see methodology proof of public information. We evaluate social attitude that you affirm. Next, the following Years exist. One, the time scale because six, one, and two, and our because I have to cover multiple layers makes it impossible for the app to win. B, was it one minute and one fourth of the one ER versus one seventh of the NC means the negative arguments are skewed. C, the NAC won 8% more rounds as octaves and quarter bits last year. <coughs> B, the app doesn't run blind whether they can adapt their initial rebuttal to affirm the speech outweighs when you can argue because the NAC can make the initial clearing. Whether the app has lose the chance of the AR, this makes it a and the NAC has a larger opportunity to up layer seven minutes to four. E, the app has more chances to make mistakes. I, uh, as they have A, more speeches and B, more time necessary to extend the position to win. And F, the NAC gets more responsive speech time. The app has seven minutes to the NAC's 13 responsive speech time. It's <coughs> <coughs> while simultaneously taking weight after round. Sweet. Before we start class, like, there's a lot in the end, a lot of stuff in the interview you didn't read. Mm -hmm. Can you come and help me? Sure. So, uh, negative eight there. Yep. Uh, you read all four. Yep, pieces. and I stopped at, I don't know if you read stuff. I didn't read G. I read four. And I didn't read past four. You read this part. I didn't read it. Yep. Okay. <coughs> and you read everything. I would say just morality is like um, some sort of ethic that tells us like what we like it's like right or wrong, I guess is a good definition. What is right or wrong for D1 ACs in that ethic that they can um, well the ethic the meta ethic just defines that we determine what's right or wrong based on uh, like how we will put ourselves in positions in the future. And how we put ourselves in what does that mean? If I put myself in the position of me winning this round in the future, does that mean you can be the valid? Uh, no, so the argument is about like uh, if I know that if I buy like a knife. I'll murder someone. I say that I, it's immoral for me to buy a knife. Does the past does the past matter? Uh, according to the present, I think I would say no. The, the past doesn't matter. Yeah. So things like slavery, we just don't care. Don't care about. I'd say, I'd say that, like there's a difference between the past not mattering, like the past not existing. I'd say the ethics says yeah. the past doesn't exist. Does the past matter? Does slavery in the past matter? I would say the past I understand it exists, and you do acknowledge that slavery happened. Does okay, this, like I can say like slavery is bad, but I would just say that ethics points that the past isn't real. The past isn't real, but like, it does yeah. exist. Doesn't exist. That's I'd say. <coughs> that's me that. How can something be real but not exist? If it exists in the present. So slavery did what didn't happen. Uh, I mean, like, there's probably still forms of slavery that exist in the present, and I can tell you confidently that those are bad things. Did slavery happen in the past? Uh, I, I can't make judgments about the past. I can say if it was gotcha. at the present, then uh, I can where's say. Where's the site for the Lanza evidence? Or any of the evidence you read? At the bottom of the card. Where? The Lanza robber, does the past exist? Yes, evidence suggests your past is not set in stone. The Huffington Post. Um, so well. let's talk about uh, all the justifications why negative valid is so incoherent. They all seem to be premised upon some form of, like, rules being like nonsensical or norms being nonsensical. Is the only reason we affirm, the only reason these are unique is because permissibility affirms? Uh, like, wait, say that again, the only reason it we affirm? It seems like all of the reasons we can't negate are just we can't make objective statements to be true. Yeah, like, rules just can't be true. Defend, like, Why is that unique to negate? Because uh, like, if you're reading, if you're gonna like negate the resolution, then like, you're bound to proving like at all an obligation of- uh, So it's a condition of which means permissibility affirms, correct? Sorry, I didn't hear the first one. It's contingent on you winning permissibility affirms. No, I say if permissibility affirms, like that's a way that I can win, but uh, these are just like not and all you of lose permissibility affirms. Does that mean we negate? Yes or no? Uh, it depends if this moment triggers permissibility. Wait, it seems like okay. So, so tell me why any of the reasons why we negate, uh, why negating is incoherent, A through I, are unique to negating, not to like deciding the fact. They're not about, none of these are about ballots. These are about like uh, like obligations and like uh, and rules generally. So like, tell me which one is unique to negate. Like negating in like general debate or negating for the resolution? Yeah, it's titled, I contend a negative ballot is incoherent. Why sure, it's not in terms of the resolution. The resolution debates like 
uh, you debate uh, the converse of the resolution, unless like I guess you could do something else. And but I guess it's not unique to negating; it's negate, it's unique to like the converse of the resolution. For I thought it answered your question better. Uh, I'll start from.
calls out should reject and restrict the speech of this one and say, don't let, don't let them extend it, don't let them win on it, don't let them read it again. You're about to set the precedent for that. White people need a fundamental corruption from the white social position. The relation of domination must be destroyed. Shipping card, regulate speech, and they people into the hands of people of color is uniquely good. That's not for oath. We need to be willing to know the very social position. Relation of domination, the very important, the very beginning of the Lego, the proxy destroyer. I write this up. It's scary, but it's not my concern. I need to make a white people comfortable with the position of because I will share my life in every way in ways that I don't understand. There's white side just talking through whiteness or stressing my spurs. They must be committed to scaring them whether we willing to do it with the people most affected. I want to let my situation tell them to do not. White ignorance creates an epistemology safeguarding white supremacist structures. We really keep them up this conversation. Tell them that they are not fucking welcome. That's Curry 12. Values of uh, value political ideas of the, uh, of the time below equality, compromise, racial, certain uses of the interest of white, make them the victim of the category, the claims of duration, superiority. I don't mean a person, I don't white groups, and just need to be recognized. The essential cause of practice is saying white ignorance. It is not uh, this not possible. Black, uh, uh, rational white character from seeing anything like racism protects white psyche from negligence. So we only start to break these rules where we can be like, can we begin to overcome the white darkness, especially at the point where he says that things like slavery should not be remembered, should not be acknowledged, not, not we should pretend like that don't exist because the future can just change those. Now your authors attempt to speak the capital T truth from an undefined logic. This appeals to your meta ethic and epic, but this is regard for social locations. That's when the system of white, especially at the point whenever you deny the character of agency. That's the NC05. I read a personalized session about your uh, context. I think my race body, places live body experience. It's possibly the only thing that we're talking about is regard to the body self theme, irrelevant to the air. Once we should have the reason, we are totally free to know whether we always possibly presume speak on ourselves without mention of race uh, without mention of race identity. Well, the author of whiteness model should inform my identity speak from nowhere for everyone. This also in it, uh, the, the, the theoretical uh, the, the theoretical argument that you have to degree that you say, oh, these are uh, our forms of performative argument. So critical arguments don't matter. They should just uh, argue the merits of the affirmative. We say that structure is always going to be predicated. Uh, that structure itself is always uh, anti black in the first place. Now, whiteness is masked within a cultural power discourse within individuals. Whiteness has yeah, validation offers within space of invisibility. Whenever you can race things like that past and say that you didn't do anything, it relies on oppressing people to be a state of not knowing whether slavery existed or not, especially at the point where we're crossing to a very, but if you whether acknowledge it or not, to assert its own power. The nonsense of the app is a shield for whiteness to maintain its power. When you say we can change the future because they shot an electron beam uh, through her for some proton slime bullshit nonsense that. Uh, so this presser did that just to maintain its power. You say slavery doesn't exist uh, or it doesn't matter. It is a real that proves something. That's more than classic. Oh, four. Part of the product of two the machine or minus plus plus or minus points of whiteness. Proceed to say, name the number of questions that are about your experience by demanding that they encounter the other three modes of performance. My experience function. I'm marked as a center of culture power in order to engage some performance. We create space for students to take a look at whiteness in the minds and begin subverting the invisibility of whiteness. Yeah. Affirmative deliberations are ones who control the potential of whiteness. They assume that white folk, historically racist people, just change their mind under the appeals uh, to morality. Whenever they say you can't negate because these rules uh, will never be set, but those rules were never set for black individuals. The rules broken for them. You call for debate to change, but black idealization is limited to the better white races will allow in the first place. This appeals uh, and criticize the meta ethic at the top of one you see. That's Carney 13. Not a question of protecting future life. Convince the liberal action to recently set the world to be a better idea to be able to sustain over the back of your community and the other kid. The future will control control the way of the flash and the ethical idea of the world. The option of the world. The white race will allow. That's the oppressive force. I don't have the decision. I'll limit the truth of reality. The clouds contain only force that relaxes the conscious recognition of the utility of the community. The cognition of all values depending on the moral aspirations of the different world. Of the western black ethical diversity can only engage one question by saying that white supremacy is capable of being the capacity of the right The role of the judge is the critical idea that systematically rejects all instances of debaters that promote racist speech or racist acts and racist justifications. We outweigh not because of the role of the judge, but because the attribute's unique position has to be epistemological methods and rather developed. Basically, this means with the negative epistemological cap application. Vincent 13 is right there. Until we reach the speech and speak, I uh, tell Joseph Tucker not to put down for the debate from performance that production of the base. The debate and coaches will likely be a member man who remain complacent in the purpose. We must begin to prepare that we should stop looking at ourselves. I stand up and back and recognize the discourse now that the producer and debate has real implications on how we think of the space. As long as we continue to operate in the world, where our performance immediately by our minds, we need to foster the content, hostility, and vice versa, and children, destroy the transformative potential of this community. Have why white individuals need to be held accountable for the effects of the scholarship and how the scholarship justifies their own ideology. The space uniquely keep uh, so addressing some of those crimes as after the realization of spiritual awakening, self have thrown to violence and the practice of the one he provides self agonizing act of blossom over the material harms that happen to students of color in this activity. I bet you if there was any race that uh, I should have in around one through five, you'd say that's the past, it's okay, it doesn't matter. The one you must be held accountable for any action that just might balance to a student of color. You can act every single term by scholarship in this community uniquely for the role of the ballot to vote for the debater who best deconstructs systems of white supremacy within the debate space. We outweigh because it affects people that affected by anti practice for the debate, which is quite question to the activity being meaningful, which means that you cannot change it ex post factor like you claim to do. Next up. You should lose with the ridiculous theories by some preempts who try to hide the case. In fact, you spit in uh, these theory uh, uh, and uh, in terms of the underview and didn't even uh, uh, put out of order and then uh, had to change uh, uh, the order them and then pick which ones you went for. Uh, uh, and and indeed, uh, the other interview just by some one error bullshit like uh, RBS, and that's uh, not even needed in the base space, uh, which is not even needed in debate uh, in the first place. For example, you're theory in the 1 AC, which means that there's no uh, reason you need to uh, read this. This just sets up more hoops for debate. Just talk about issues that actually matter and affect the direct and the question that Smith. 
13, the curious are one making such problem uh, 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 with many such and such that uh, exist in reality racism is caused by the signatures of the institution country to make a real list of Washington and Detroit and Canada with Russian abstraction that this conversation in material reality that black people are forced to learn every day another way to conclude with another random fact that we can kill the most humanity just like we did that guy Jordan in a certain way to know what I can finish you ain't going devices to make it rules to accuse like it was right to escape our conversation but if someone who understands that you don't need to search and I do knowledge the reality of the present engage in discussion with the person you're all those who are black and brown and their five strategies to deal with the issues ahead of the solution while we're presenting an access that satellites with the press have just made what a pressure to Debate is not an idea, but learning about the literature of attention, I get a case. Overview on all of the arguments why, uh, 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 the, the offense arguments, why he said that we can't, why they say that we can't again. These are all uh, based on some form of rules being bad or uh, rules being subject here. We can't follow any uh, 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 actual rules. We said the only way that you would vote negative is uh, the only way that you vote affirmative is that uh, they trigger permissibility. There's no offense on the flow. He said they have to vote, uh, they have to vote permissibility. This is a really sketchy cross section that he functionally can see that. Let's go to the eight point. He says that uh, uh, it's a question about not voting. One, the negative is suspect. You have affirmative action. If you have negative, then, which means that whatever you get is an admission of action. So uh, it's easier. That's, uh, that goes to the warning the B point as well. Now, two, uh, on uh, the, the, the resolution is odd now, which means that you have to prove a negative obligation, not a lack of obligation. I believe when you say an action is at least uh, risk, but that's the game, because in the game, uh, whatever you negate, that's the status quo. The affirmative takes an action that changes the status quo. So you say some point C, uh, deny, the, uh, deny the truth of an affirmative to uh, express dedication. But expressing dedication means that uh, you need dedication to a truth can, which means the affirmative also has to win a truth can. Now, too, uh, we deny, uh, we, uh, we deny, uh, we, we, we negate whenever we deny, whenever we achieve a permissibility, whenever uh, we, uh, we, whenever we defend the Congress, and that's what you said in the uh, negative, uh, that's what you said in the negative verbal. Now, I'll separate the, uh, you say any set of proof of you just need to say, uh, so that's should be limited. For example, for you that your speech is limited, that's sufficient. Also, with the women the negative burden, that should be sufficient as well. Now, um, some like generic case arguments you can put this at the top. Try to raise, uh, whenever you try to raise history, just like things like saving that removes white guilt. Uh, that's what you mean by the impact of certain cases to make us sound an independent trauma disadvantage. So Berlin, 06, London, or Oxford, so while marks the possibility that half of history might not be reduced, released in overall being negative. First one, pretty such a nice traumatic scene. Not to think, uh, not to think about how optimistic that is having the same potential concept behind visual habits. The revolution you're looking might be having an approximate video of objects, even though otherwise we're predicted otherwise. Exchange value, you're not going to really do a psychotic defense against the risk of less than optimism. Optimism, that's actually another thing, uh, another thing means a cruel stuff for all. Exchange parts, sensory disorder, and such a new video transfers the promise of object that you generate the uh, Better good luck, don't get pedagogy of vague future. He's a normative option, he's a pretty uh, small stuff. Main options that utopia is a structure of inequality, such an effect of uh, atmosphere, or not equal change in the world. This means that whiteness operates by main, remaining in the market. Challenging and basically whiteness, and those are just falls back into his face. Silence masks whiteness. Uh, I don't need the last thing. So the link coming out of the off you read is just like the, the absence. Every piece of evidence uh, that I read was an independent. Those are all independent disadvantages to, are, are advantages to the, to the counteracts. Yeah, but it, I feel, the, how is it an, an independent advantage like a link? What do you mean? So, so they're all independent reasons to vote negative. The Napro 3 evidence is an argument why white people need a fundamental rupture from the social position. They need to just get out of the way if they want to actually be engaging in issues of oppression. So there's a couple of impacts from that. Either one, you care about oppression and you all just get out of the way instead of voting sketchy shit, or two, you don't care about oppression, in which case you still lose on the rule of the rule of the judge. So the correct follow up is separate. Wait, wait, they all make different I'm arguments. Actually, just like, I was at the first point. The What's one up? you just said, where was that one? The Napro 3 evidence, that's the first piece of evidence I read. Oh, cool. That says if, like, if I think oppression is bad, I would get out of the way. Uh, it's it's a lot more complex than that. I, I think this line. Uh, I'll read you a line of the evidence that kind of summarizes the argument. Whites cannot just talk or think through whiteness and structures of white supremacy. They must be committed to just getting out of the way. They must be willing to do what the people most affected and marginalized by situation tell them to do. Our argument is here is that we need to shift the power to the hands of people of color rather than from from white people. Otherwise, they'll do this shit where you're like, oh, the past doesn't matter. It's like we didn't exist. It, it's not important. Uh, what does it mean? It's to real, but, it, but it didn't exist. What does it mean to shift me. power? Huh? What does it mean to shift power? Shift power. So that's what the the, the counteracty does, right? It says that your speech is not important. This one AC doesn't matter. Shut it down. Cool. Uh, the second one is white ignorance, right? Yeah. So this is an epistemological uh, claim. The argument is just like time material. It's not about time. Where does the ignorance come from? The, the ignorance? No, you said like I the argument is that the there's an like, epistemic blo like obstacle blocking the white psyche from understanding instances of oppression, right? That's why you read this one AC. I'm hoping you. you Realize that this, <coughs> you didn't realize that this is a bad 1AC, this is an impressive 1AC, it foreclosed the actual debates that matter. If you didn't realize that, that's exactly what this argument uh, is proving that white figures is basically have to justify these structures where you can get up and read four justifications or eight justifications where you can never negate. Like, oh, what kind of AC would I have read that would have uh, not been linked to white ignorance? Uh, one that maybe had a piece of evidence talking about the topic, that would have been good. That's just, you know, starting.
I also think that like regardless of like this is an epistemic claim about how whiteness and how white people understand oppression and how how they can't think through those right. It's it's a justification for why they need to how just is, stop how talking would, for once. How would reading this. evidence about the topic? The example you I'd say that's a good starting point for for but it would writing still, like, one AC. It would I'd say your option. It would still. I mean, yes, I would still probably try to get a link. I'd, I'd read arguments. I'd still okay, so like, yeah, what does your yeah, model debate look like? Like, if I'm a way through it, I actually concede every round? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not what we say. say. The courage model evidence indicates, indicates that the reason it's in an epistemic claim, right? It, it, it's like a think of it as a framework. It indicates the reason why white people don't understand. Sorry, I don't know what epistemic claim means. Um, uh, and, uh, how we create knowledge. Epistemology is is how we think about things. How the the process of thought. Okay, time. Yeah. Starting now. Oh, no. Never mind. Starting now. Okay. It's uh, his first off, then a new off, and then AC. Okay, first off. First off. off. Can you uh, email us? Yeah, I did. Are you good? Are you good? Reset, reset. Okay, cool. Before the round, I told the sheets that this was my last debate round ever, so I told them I was going to read some silly prep. If you legitimately think that saying that time isn't real and reading a whole bunch of silly blips is racist, then you can vote me down. I'm completely fine with that. However, since this is in fact my last debate round ever, I'm still going to read the trolley prep that I prepared for round six of the TOC, regardless of if you think it's racist or not. Additionally, I rooted all your prep. You, I never said that slavery wasn't a bad thing. I just said we can't make judgments about things in the past because I read a silly argument that says that time isn't real. And in fact, I said that there's still forms of slavery that probably exist today, which is more recognition than you did. That says that, and I still said that we can make controversial interpretation that's bad. So it's not uh, you're just putting words in my mouth and saying that I won't recognize 
that slavery. Uh, it's my next argument says that you, your arguments are all, all indicate that you only care about winning this round because you guys still read your prep. Uh, and the fact that I just read a silly case, and if you, if you didn't actually, the fact that I read a silly case, you can still just read all uh, your prep without actually engaging with the case. If you thought the discussions were important, also cross my that to your second off that says that after bending discussions by me, you jump through hoops. That not only does that necessitate that you, uh, that only have important discussions, you have to win rounds. That's problematic because one, it, 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 it creates the idea that people who don't win the same amount of rounds don't have the same important message. For example, I could be a new debater and I go 06, but I still really care about my prep. It perpetuates the idea that those debaters don't have the same important messages because they don't win rounds. Second, it means that you can never actually have real world change in debate space because you're always operating within power structures, i.e., the judges are one of power and you have to have their ballot in order to desist your uh, endorse your positions of discussion. It's always worse than benefits from discussions about race and debate space. Also, uh, also worse because uh, uh, so that always uh, so that corresponds to your second off case about how I just read a silly app and also uh, it leads me to most of the uh, parts of the off first off case. But however, I'm not going to respond to arguments that says like I'm white, uh, but white ignorance because there's no obviously no response to that. I can see the fact that like I can never actually understand uh, aspects of slavery because I am, I am a, a white male. However, that's a not unique about the topic. You said I should talk about the topic more, but that would still make me a link. Which means that not only this just proves your idea that that you should just you want to uh, you want to just win ballots instead of actually having legitimate discussions, which means uh, at best it just turns your position. Now I'm going to read a trolley K that I prepared for round six at GOC, because it's my last round, so I hope you have fun with this. I need to be first to link my opponent's position is giving you lots of reasons to vote for them, and therefore not for me. They're also making tons of well-thought-out substance level arguments, as well as multiple layers. They could have a practically perfect situation for you voting for them. My opponent is very good, you should probably vote for them. McKinney writes, my opponent is being good, you should vote for them. This is important because I'm continuing everything uh, that they're coming out of their position, at least mostly from their first case, so uh, they, I'm giving you reasons to vote for them, not for me. Second is the impact. The impact of voting for them is I'll be sad. This is true because I know people sign up for a debate because they want to have fun in it. I can't say I have fun if all my hard work is being in the throw thrown in the trash, my opponent making me feel like a stupid hippo. Biggest impact that around because I'm sad I'll get angry, McKinney too. If I'm sad that I lost my round, I'll get angry. If I get angry, I'll get violent, McKinney three. Further, if I'm angry because I'm sad that I lost my round, I'll get violent. The impact of the time I get violent, I'll destroy the universe in a fit of rage, McKinney four. If I'm violent because I'm angry because I am sad because I lost my round, I will destroy the universe in a fit of rage. Uh, uh, further. Not only will I destroy the universe because I of you voting for them, I will destroy you, the judge, for being such a duty head in this round. Third is the alternative. Vote for me so I don't have to destroy the universe. If you vote for me, I will never get sad because all my hard work will pay off. If anything, but for me will make me happy, which is the biggest impact. If I'm happy, I will eliminate all potential violations, morality, and justice. McKinney 5. Whenever I get happy, I feel an obligation to promote happiness to everyone. The other will be happy. I'll promote happiness in the most convenient way possible by using my wizard powers gifted to me with a man who lives in the woods behind the mark to identify every single more violation eliminated by alternating the eighth dimension. So voting for me not only solve impacts that after then they create to the universe being destroyed, but voting for me also have its own benefits of changing the course of history so existing infinite supply of justice. Also, the thing is competitive because my opponent loses and gets that angry and violent. I can just by training individual martial arts to subside them from destroying the universe like I would, making me six. When I was seven years old, I took an introductory uh, class to karate. This means that only opponent can be the person to get upset because I can prevent destruction in the world. They can't force this role to ballot. The judge shutting the ballot in the round literally has no effect in the world because nobody cares what the judge thinks in the RP. The only reason the judge would have a reason to vote for anything in the round is unnecessary for the existence out of the round. No matter what arguments my opponent is making, against the arguments are super rad and or awesome. You should have performed that the only one is protecting the universe. They may read everything that the sun says and perfect does too, but they rolled about that doesn't actually make the resolution true. If they have argues that the, the destruction of the universe is good, then you still vote for me because I will personally destroy you for using my previously mentioned wizard powers. The case makes impact possible to control all the things around, therefore you vote for me. I was just gonna say this is really silly, but I told them I wanted to have a fun round, not just uh, be called uh, uh, ignorance. I agree that I have some sort of ignorance around it. Do you think that I was being racist by saying that time doesn't exist by reading some uh, well, bastardization of the duality wave particle experiment? Then yes, fine, you can vote for me by reading this. It probably indicates that I I I, I don't care I don't care that too much because they're both out anyways. But you can still evaluate with the turns I made on this off base. Oh, sorry. Is everybody? 
And with the role of the judge, like keep the knee off like the role of the dominant human next to it. Good? Yep. Conceded the role of the judge to be the critical attitude that systematically rejects all the debate that promotes racist speech and race action, which means that's not a question of uh, whether you thought it was a silly, uh, whether you thought it was a silly perfect or not. It's a question of whether it justified things like anti-black discourse, and that's uh, if we win that it does, and you definitely won negative. Now you can see the way you're because that's because you need position against your social method, which means that uh, your own need to justification for the whole class. Nobody cares about the RFP, but we definitely do care. There's a bunch of people over here uh, in this room watching the debate, and there's also it's also being recorded, so you should probably uh, give a shit about it because it's going to have an uh, impact on future rounds. Also, the Vincent 13 evidence indicates that you should hold debate as accountable, especially white debaters, because they think that this totally shit is okay. But they just like uh, anti-black actions and anti-black violence, and, uh, and then they're just like, oh, but I, I don't care about the run. Obviously, you don't give a shit because uh, it doesn't affect you. Now, the role of the ballot is to vote for the debater who best who best deconstructs some white specs through the debate space, which means that if for winning reasons why you are just white specs through the debate space, and you definitely vote for us, you will use your way to argue because it affects people by back to the debate space. It's a question that's even meaningful. Now, let's go to the, the, the top of the album. The advocacy is to reject this one, I see, to vote negative because uh, you should always, uh, you should never, uh, you should never support any, any racist actions. And if you're bringing any ways uh, to why you are racist or why you support a white source ideology, then you should lose around them. And I'll throw three of these in case I, you should never have any negative issues because white people uh, always do this shit wherever they're like, it doesn't matter. So let's just uh, talk about this. It's exactly what the Korean 12 talks about white uh, ignorance. Whenever you, uh, whenever you get up and uh, you say that we can't judge slavery, it's not that it don't exist, but this uh, contradiction is exactly what we're talking about. That you think it's okay to read silly racist stuff. Now you say, uh, your first response is that if, if you're racist, you only read totally shit, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you should butt up even if it's racist. That's exactly the argument. You say even if it's racist, it's completely okay, but that's it. Uh, the Vincent 13 evidence indicates that we should be held to uh, the things that you justify. Now, your second argument is that we can't justify slavery. You can't judge slavery. It's just, uh, it's, it's not that you can't judge slavery. It's just that it, uh, it's not that it doesn't exist, but that you uh, just can't judge slavery. But if you're from your side, uh, slavery is not a bad thing, and that we can't determine that it's always going to be uh, bad thing. That means you justify uh, anything like things. Like you justify slavery being happening in the future, especially at the point where we see the future uh, effects and changes in the past, which means that you can just say we should have slavery in the future uh, in order to eliminate the, the thought I uh, process of the uh, slavery in the past, which means that this is exactly the white mental masturbation that we are. Uh, in that, you next time you still link, even if it's talking about the uh, topic, which means that our current uh, our current twelve evidence is not unique. But no, it's a question of uh, you. Uh, it's a question of the, uh, the practice that you perpetuate, which means that we're definitely winning specific links uh, to the uh, to the to the performance of the strategies of the uh, the one AC and the one air. Now your next argument is that we only care about winning, so we're reading, uh, 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 so we're reading silly shit, uh, and we uh, we couldn't actually have a debate. But no, obviously we can. If you're being racist, then uh, we are calling you out for it. It's not a question of us just winning. It's a question. Uh, literally, you're the one who said it doesn't matter what happens. So uh, it's not us who are uh, just caring about winning. It's us who are uh, trying to indict you for the bullshit that you are doing. Uh, and that you were trying to win out, but just because it's wrong to the TOC does not mean that you can be racist. Uh, your next argument is that you have an important message to you. Yes, uh, no, the fuck you don't, man. You're racist. You're just fighting things like slavery. You're saying the past didn't matter. Uh, and that we can change these things. That means that, uh, definitely, if you think that slavery is an important message, then you should probably uh, be losing. That's exactly the non proof evidence indicates that you can justify these things uh, and get away with it. The second argument is that there's no real world change because the judge's matter, which means that it's bad, uh, we're adjudicated. But the judge should be held to holding debaters uh, for their practices. If you are being racist, the judge should hold you accountable for that uh, and vote you down. And there's no reason why the judges uh, voting you down for white supremacy is voting for white in itself. That's a, a illogical argument. It also is just a reason uh, and a way out for these white people to just justify the things that they do. They say uh, all power is bad. Not all, not all power is bad. If we can uh, use power in a disidentified way to judge or uh, to punish people who are doing uh, fucked up shit, then we should definitely do that. Now, your last argument is that you, uh, that you make at the end of the speech is that you really don't care that uh, these responses are on, on, the, on the soft matter, but yes, uh, we have responded to them, and obviously you don't care about black lives or racist shit because it doesn't affect you. That's exactly why you know, white ignorance argument that we're making. Now, when you get to the word class, I'm just saying, in case that whiteness uh, is invisible, it's proven two ways. One, I, uh, by the one I restart, whenever you just uh, demolish the one I see and you said we're going to be this uh, other trolley shit, which is also going to be but we have to link some of their specifically uh, later. And now the second uh, the, the second implication of this is that we, hold, we should hold debaters uh, to their performance, i.e. hold them to their identity, which means that your whiteness uh, and this run does matter. It does affect how your strategy uh, was created. If you don't believe me, then why the hell did the one AR uh, restart it? And then say that even if we're racist, it doesn't matter. Just vote for us. Now, let's go to the... Not the first stuff. We'll go to the app. Or the, the new stuff. First of all, it's no reason to learn all, all the arguments. All these cards are missed out. One of them literally says you shouldn't vote for me, but you only uh, highlight the the should. And now also these uh, arguments are all these articles are all made up. These are just McKinney articles, articles which is uh, your name. You wrote these uh, things, and then you claim that they're real articles in the New York Times, which is probably some form of uh, commodification to say uh, that we publish literature in this, and then uh, and then say that uh, oh, like you know, we made it up, and then you're gonna get up and say it doesn't matter. That's exactly what we're indicting. You were trying to steal shit because you were saying this space doesn't matter, but this space does matter. It's not a public college or a university where we could have an actual discussion about uh, whether things like hate speech. 
are important, whether things like uh, free speech should happen in the first place. Now, let's go to the line, line. You say that our funds are good, so you should put on the line. On the link level, that means that you negate because uh, it says that uh, you can see everything in the affirmative position. Your second argument is saying uh, the impact. You say that if your side, you get angry. We don't give a shit about why people get angry. That's the number of three of say If it makes you uncomfortable, then good for you. Your whiteness should make you uncomfortable because it makes black people uncomfortable in every other instance. Imagine if uh, uh, we, we are minority debaters and we are getting up and trying to have an actual discussion. He's saying you don't matter. Your discussion doesn't matter. We don't care because we're just doing some trolley shit. I don't care if this rap doesn't matter to you, but it's an actual debate around that has importance and that will continue uh, to do things. And you say, if you're angry, you'll get right. That's exactly what white people do. They say, if you don't follow me, then I'm going to uh, demolish you. I'm going to destroy the universe in a bit of rage. How the hell are you destroy the universe? Well, but an intro to karate class, fam. I took Taekwondo too. That means it's not unique. I went out of words. Now you said the alternative, but for me, uh, so I don't destroy the universe. But uh, that's not unique. We took karate as well. Also, permutation to both. We can just buffer us so that we don't destroy the universe. Uh, now you say, if you're buffering, uh, uh, all your hard work will pay off. But we also do hard work. We are trying to justify why you were doing races and you were uh, trying to win off of that. That's not hard work. That is cheap shots uh, and cheap shit. Now you say, if you're happy, you'll eliminate all potential violence and morality. Just clearly not. You don't care about black people. You said, even if we're racist, uh, it doesn't matter. You literally said slavery doesn't matter. It, uh, it's okay to happen. You're not making an uh, objective determination that slavery was a bad thing. Now you say they link your country center because you, uh, we lose, we'll get side of angry and violent. We can use uh, your karate class, but we've already done unique this argument. Now the world about, um, you said that the judge signed the ballot literally has no way of, uh, literally has no fight, but it affects all of us in the round, which means that it does have uh, some form of uh, which means that it does have some form of impact. Also, uh, it's been recorded, we already made these arguments. So you're, uh, last time you made it. Uh, also, this ends, therefore you should vote nay, so vote nay. Uh, the round breaks sound like this. Don't justify, or don't vote on this white bullshit that they're trying to pull. It's all excuses to maintain an ideology, a dominant perception of the world that exists, where you can just get up and say these things don't matter, and then inflict violence and say slavery didn't exist and doesn't matter. That's fucked up. Granting about how I made some horribly racist comment, but let's remember the AC literally all it said was time doesn't exist. He's using a back position to time uh, of the weight duality uh, experiment. So if you if you honestly think that saying that time doesn't exist is the same thing as saying that slavery doesn't matter, then that's fine. You should vote for Jesus in this round because I uh, I agree that you should you should not be racist. However, the arguments I've said here are not what exactly be saying. I've just said to Tommy since we can't make a hundred percent truth claims about things that happened in the past. Uh, I'm not saying that. Uh, in fact, he still didn't acknowledge the fact that I said that slavery and my school still and uh, uh, probably does still exist in the present. And I made a hundred percent claim that slavery is a bad thing. I just said that, that I, I never said that slavery uh, is, it didn't exist or slavery didn't happen. I literally just said that time, is, that time doesn't exist, which means that if things could happen in the, uh, things like could, uh, could exist. And I'm just saying that we, uh, it's contradictory to say things like past, future, and present. If you think that denying like uh, the existence of, of time is some, some contract, you probably thought about a two ball about how like time is nonsense and the ideas of fourth dimension are silly. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you, uh, you didn't think about that in a racist way or denying the existence of slavery or ever thought while well, thinking about time that you thought was uh, that slavery didn't happen, uh, then, then uh, 
uh, uh, you should be at least listen to these arguments to some extent. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 let's go to the next argument that he just goes for a whole bunch of reasons that says that everything in this round. Uh, so uh, he first justifies that everything I said was racist. However, uh, I, I I stand by the fact that what I said wasn't racist. All I said was that time isn't real. Uh, also, uh, 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 let's go to the next argument that says that everything he does in this room matters. He's giving a few reasons. The first reason is that the people are watching this round. I would say that the people watching this round are all of our teammates that already agree with us. There's no any positive change in the debate community. Second, you say that the round is being uh, uh, filmed, but however, that doesn't necessitate that the uh, people who don't like it and watch uh, 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 rounds on YouTube very much. Most of them have uh, like uh, like. 30 views maximum, and uh, I would say that doesn't have a one how to call the change anyways, uh, because he, and no one watches rounds and like uh, critically thinks on them. I'm sure you've sat in a debate round and just like uh, played on your phone sometimes. We all do it. I'm not calling you out specifically. No, no one like actually critically thinks about how the arguments we make in debate rounds. Uh, you actually say you should hold me accountable. One, one, I would say uh, you're you should you're, you're saying that you should hold me accountable for saying all these horribly racist things. However, you're uh, dropping all the turns and made it on your position about how you're just commodifying the ballot just as much as I am. Uh, you just you said that uh, how you just care, you care about winning more than you actually care about your position. Let's go to those terms. You say I, I read a silly position doesn't mean you can't uh, distract you from your position. You say that and you, it puts people in the job and jump through hoops. However, that that you can extend the term that says that just necessitates the claim that people who don't win rounds don't have as valuable messages, which is a worse model for the debate. It's also worse. Uh, it's also worse than your model, which is that just white people should concede every round because if we did that, then we never have legitimate discussions. However, white people just concede. Uh, however, you can still have your important discussions. Uh, uh, then you see that you can go through a bunch of reasons. Oh, uh, you can extend the next round and talk about how you're operating with power structures still in the debate space when we have to. Discussion when you carry about the winning so much instead of just having fun on your last year, just commodifying winning and more important than actual discussions. If you care about the discussions, you can do things outside of the round instead of just uh, uh, not having fun on your last debate round ever. Uh, uh, also on the on the K, he goes for a perm on the K that says that he's uh, he's better at attack model than me. However, he's missing the link that says that I can alter the eight dimensions from powers given to me by a guy from Kmart, which was always on those uh, evidence. Also, he said it's a miscut. Yeah, they're miscut. I wrote them in like eighth grade, so I thought it would be funny. So.